Hi, I'm Ken Perlin. I'm a professor at uh, New York University, and uh, for the last uh, 40 years or so, I've been developing techniques in computer graphics and animation. I would say about every 10 years or so, something I do ends up being really useful. Um, techniques I developed in procedural texture in the 90s started getting used in uh, major films and uh, computer games, and now they're used pretty much in all Hollywood film special effects. About 10 years ago, in our lab, we started developing multi-touch technology that ended up getting purchased by Amazon um, and in a startup company. And now I want to talk to you about the future of animation. Um, so to set the context, Snapchat reports that over 50% of Americans between 13 and 34 play with Snapchat AR lenses every single week. And that creates a market opportunity. Because millions of people who don't have access to high budgets want to make animations for themselves. But the problem is that right now you have to hire a 3D animator and spend lots of time and money to do that. Well, there's an analogy. There was a time when you wanted to make something that look good in print. You needed to hire an expert. But then at some point, we got desktop publishing. And the ideas and the power of that expertise started getting infused into software. So our solution builds on this principle. For the last 25 years, I've been building a set of technologies that there are publications, there are trade secrets, there are numerous U US patents that basically allow us to not hire an animator, but direct characters for ourselves in real time. And these characters can uh, not only take direction, but they can interact with objects, they can have mood, they can have personality, they work with full body animation, um, they can walk, they can balance, they can even do complex dances. And we can apply these to any models. Here we just grabbed a model off the web and applied our techniques to that. In fact, here's a model that was made by an animator in our lab. And meanwhile, because these are entirely procedural techniques, um, this can be retargeted. Instead of having to spend the time and money of saying, oh, I need to make a different animation because I've changed the size of the model, you just apply it and it automatically retargets. We're also giving um, modeling software. So for example, users can just make simple shapes like blobs and we automatically skin them. We create uh, blend shapes. We do skeletons and we do that all for you. Things that would take an animator hours or even days are done behind the scenes by our software. And the magic sauce is the fact that we're using this same idea from desktop publishing, style sheets, so that you do simple things at the top level and that controls very complex movements behind the surface. And that means that you can say, hey, I want my character to act like it's a sexy model or I want to act like it's a tired old man. And it's just going to do what you say, separating style from content. We've got lots of interest from major companies. In fact, the VP of one of a multi-billion dollar company said, this is better than anything we've been able to do. There are alternatives. You can hire an animator, but that's very expensive. You can go into a mocap studio and do machine learning learning, but that's expensive and limited to what you've captured. You can use biomechanical models like Clumsy Ninja, but then you need experts to tune that to different characters. So we're really the only solution that's affordable and completely flexible. Our launch strategy is to release it as a prototyping tool on smartphones and tablets with a freemium model. It's completely free to use unless you want control over distribution, but that means that you're a paying customer and we will study the techniques that you want the most and we'll build those into the product. Uh, both myself and our CEO have uh, made millions of dollars in startup companies, and we're looking forward to partners to work together on this next exciting adventure. Thank you. All right, well done. Perfect. Right on time. Judges, who wants to take it away first? Sure, Jenny. The mic, pass it down. I'll ask the VC question, which is, are the companies that are interested in paying you today for the use of it? Um, we are in negotiations based on licensing arrangements to see whether they can incorporate our technology as OEM, but we're, we're trying to circle around them to see whether we want to go that route or we'd rather, you know, we're basically talking to everyone to see what the best arrangement is before we give anything away. Got it. Okay, good question. Next. Who else has questions? Anybody else? Roland. What's the computation 
uh, that's driving, for example, the motion and then the, the putting the skins on and all of this. It's actually quite cheap um, because all these techniques are basically, rather than based on many iterations per frame, we figured out how to do single iterations per frame and use essentially uh, um, physics-informed relaxation methods. So the computational costs are quite low. There are no multiple iterations within you know, the, hundred, the 10 milliseconds of a frame time. Cool. Any other questions? Judges, you all set? Ken, thank you very much. Sure. That was great. Appreciate it. Thank you.